Although I knew they wear high quality products, I've been reluctant to buy devices from SwitchBot because I've read in forums and blogs that the devices could be hard to integrate locally with Home Assistant. But I was really intrigued when an email from SwitchBot all of a sudden dropped into my inbox saying that they are further expanding Home Assistant support in 2025 along with a document explaining their Home Assistant roadmap. So without really telling me what to do or say about the products, they sent me a few devices to test out. The Meter Pro is a sensor that can measure temperature, humidity, and CO2, but unlike other generic sensors, it has a display that can show date, time, and weather forecast. As soon as you power on the device, it will be recognized by Home Assistant through Bluetooth. There's no need to install additional integrations or plugins. So that was really nice. You could also use the cloud if you want. It just requires you to go into the app and enable developer mode by tapping the app version a few times so you get access to your API key and token. Once the device is integrated, you can see the three sensors straight away, and you also get a battery indicator. From my testing, the readings are accurate and consistent, which makes it reliable if you want to automate based on temperature, humidity, or CO2 values. I will most definitely start using this device instead of my little Zigbee sensor that I've been using until now. If you really want to dive into the settings of the device, you will have to install the SwitchBot app. It would be cool if some of the app features also was available in Home Assistant, like the button on the top for example. But maybe that's something that they're planning to provide support for in the future. At the moment, the button at the top switches between Celsius and Fahrenheit, and it also refreshes the values on the screen. In the app, you can also change the time and date format, and change the update interval. But the settings that has the most noticeable effect on the device is the weather indicator icon. You will be required to give location access to enable it, and once that is done, I think the icon updates twice a day to save battery. Overall, the device looks really nice, the plastic seems high quality, and the viewing angle of the screen is really great and something that surprised me when I turned it on. The screen has no backlight, but I actually like that. The display is clear and the contrast is high enough to see everything. Having no backlight means I can have it in the bedroom without having to worry about turning it off every night. The main feature on this device is the CO2 readings and it takes up about half the screen. There's also this green, yellow, and red colored strip indicating the air quality. Underneath that, we have the temperature and humidity indicators. I made a custom dashboard card that matches the default CO2 settings of the device, so you can display it the same way on your dashboard as well. You can grab the code for this for free on the Gumroad link in the description. If you want to use this card, you just have to copy the full code into a new empty card and change your entity in the name. You could also change some of these variables if you want to, the current values matches the default values of the Meter Pro device. All in all, I'm very happy with the device. It looks nicer than the cheap Zigbee sensors you get off AliExpress, and it has a few extra features available if you dive into the app. I really love that companies like SwitchBot has started to think more about Home Assistant, and that they understand that it can be beneficial for them to have integrations with Home Assistant. I think this is only the beginning for SwitchBot, and I really look forward to see where they will go in the future. I know I said in my last video that I would post videos more regularly. I then went on a long, impulsive Easter holiday. Now that I'm back, I should hopefully be able to create videos more regularly again. Thanks to everyone that watches my videos. Until next time.